Hi and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Thank you for joining me here today. Today God inspired me to talk about physical contact and intimacy in love relationships, in romantic relationships, dating, casual, and all other realms that we've broken into these days. So many of the problems that our society faces from us having to think that we have the right to make a decision to allow someone to end a pregnancy from that standpoint to engaging in casual physical intimacy and contact with people who we're not in a legal, legally binding commitment with, okay? So I'm just talking about most of the people in the society who aren't married, who are out here casually engaging in physical intimacy. Many of our problems in our society stem from this. Things like, I don't want to say unwanted pregnancies, but there's a lot of people who get pregnant and that wasn't their plan, right? But it was the manifestation of their conduct. So many diseases that people get, you know what I mean, from that physical contact, contact wouldn't even exist if we were just being obedient to what the Lord is telling us. God tells us to not engage in physical contact with people. That is something that is strictly prohibited. The Lord says the greatest sin against the body is physical contact in that kind of way, in a romantic way down there using your regions and what other, whatever other things people do. That is something that God has prohibited. It is the greatest sin against our body. So many problems in our society stem from this conduct, and yet we are so blind to it, continuously following our own desires, continuously choosing our own lustful desires to go down this path, and we continue to create problems for ourselves that we can't even provide real solutions for. Look at the battle. Everyone's battling about the choice to end pregnancies. That's not a right that we have. None of us have a right to choose to end a life, okay? That's God. God makes the call on when something like that's going to happen. And none of us know the day or the time. Just like the scripture says, heartbreak. How many people suffer from pure heartbreak because they engaged in physical contact with someone and then guess what? They get ghosted and they're destroyed. Come on, people. Most of our problems in our society are the result of our own wrongdoing. And as a result of our own wrongdoing, of our disobedience to God, of our disobedience of God's will for our lives and the greatness that can come from each and every one of us making a commitment to God to live in a way where we don't use our bodies to sin and to engage others in sinful behavior, taking them down the road of destruction as well. The scripture says when we're disobedient to God, he's going to deliver us to behave in a way like this where we're engaging in physical contact and lustful behavior for the purpose of destroying one another. Please, if you land on this message, I pray that you treat your body as, as if it was extremely sacred. And think about all the problems that you won't be contributing to when it comes to our society. Simply by withholding physical intimacy and contact with another person. Protect yourself. Treat your body like the sacred vessel that it is. And please guide others and do the same for others. I'm speaking from a standpoint of someone who wasn't living like that in the past. And that was a huge mistake on my part. Okay? Respect yourself. Respect your body. Respect what the Lord has given you. Nobody deserves 
that type of contact with you, okay? Unless if the Lord has cleared them to be in your presence. And when you're walking down the wrong path and being disobedient to the Lord, you are never going to cross paths with someone who has been cleared by God. Just as the scripture says, you will not find the living among the ones who are what? D-E-A-D. -E you won't. People who have been born again and raised by the Lord to live a life of obedience will not be around those that don't. I hope this message blesses you all. May you live a life committed to the Lord. Lord, thank you for this word. Thank you for the message. So many of our problems in our society stem from our lustful ways. May we take our ways, trash them. May you come, Lord, make a home in each of us, plant a seed, and may it grow into a beautiful tree. May we put an end to the destruction to ourselves and to others by our way of conduct and the simple act of withholding, withholding physical contact and intimacy in romantic relationships where we're not committed, Lord, and the person hasn't been cleared by you. Lord, thank you for your blessing. May you heal each and every one of us and deliver us from evil and temptation. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I hope this message blesses you all. Take care and God bless.